a minute. Hold everything. What's coming off here? Get back into those things, young lady, while we take a better look at the inmates of this hilarious house. Here's Connie, a landlord who makes paying your rent a pleasure. This is Jim, who has his hands full with a blonde in his arms in the basement and a cutie on his mind upstairs. That's Charlie. He has more love affairs than he can get away with. And this is Bobby, an old army buddy who just got back to her base of operations. Wow. You know, all the time we were overseas, Jim talked of nothing but you. You must have found that pretty dull. Oh, no. Jim can make anything interesting. I shall never forget my first conquest. I was two and a half weeks old. We had a French nurse. My name is Gray, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, well, uh, come in. I'd like to ask you just a few questions about one of your tenants, uh, Mr. Charles K. Patterson. Is something wrong? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to discuss the reason for our investigation. Oh, but Mr. Gray, this is very important. Is he dangerous? <laughs> The house is loaded with cops. The police arrive in the nick of time. The plumbing goes out most of the time. And the walls rock with fun and laughter all the time. And the screen's most heartwarming housewarming in years. In the, the, the sanctity of divorce, do you? It's all right for people who've never been married. Well, life is no fun if you play it safe. For us, it will be gay and mad and romantic. And illegitimate. Yes, it's the hilarious story of a lady who was only slightly married and two guys who were only slightly gentlemen. See Claudette Colbert, McDonald Carey, and Zachary Scott knock the eternal triangle slightly out of shape. See blonde Marilyn Monroe, Miss Cheesecake herself, and beautiful Barbara Bates fight it out to the last dimple. Who cares if it's legal, as long as it's fun? I'm just glad I divorced you before I found out what a heel you really were. You're the most exciting, the most desirable woman I have ever known. Well, and you're an expert on women. I suppose you think he wouldn't marry me. Not even if you drugged him. So you don't think I could do it? I'll lay 20 to 1 against. You're on. I thought you didn't approve of gambling. This'll be a pleasure. gentlemen, before the hottest news break out of Hollywood in years blazes across the headlines and through the loudspeakers of the nation, we'd like you to get the story directly from one of the parties most intimately involved, Miss Ginger Rogers. Hello. Yes, it happened to me, but it could just as easily have happened to any one of you out there. You see, I have a wedding ring, a marriage license, and even a husband. But we're not married. It all began when a very confused Justice of the Peace performed a wedding that was not exactly legal. And he pulled the same boner on Marilyn Monroe and David Wayne, Eve Arden and Paul Douglas, Eddie Bracken and Mitzi Gaynor, Louis Calhern and Zsa Zsa Gabor. He jumped the gun. The appointment was for January 1st, and this clown began marrying people before he had the authority. Let's get organized here. 
What is all this nonsense about you not wanting to get married again? Well, it's true, sir. Heaven has finally blessed our union with a little annulment. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to skip it this time. We've got a nice setup here, and if you're not married, we're cooked. The winner, Miss Mississippi. You know her? Yes, yeah, my fiance. Here's your mummy. Here's your mummy. You won't change your mind now, will you? Don't be silly. <laughs> you just be there. You and the champagne. And I take care of the rest of it. Peach bars, you spill some on your bed. Oh, goody. Now I can try some of that little panther spot remover. No harsh rubbing. Just spray a little panther on your vest and watch it eat the spot out. And imagine, darling, a big two-ounce bottle for only three dollars. Or if you are a messy eater, there's the handy, economical 40-gallon vat. What is it, Willie? We got a kid coming and we ain't married. Love ahead that married us didn't have a commission or something. <laughs> across the court. Can I ask you a question? Well, I don't know. I suppose so. Are you sure you want me? Yeah, you're the one I want, all right. You doing anything you couldn't be doing better with somebody else? If you want. Does that mean come on over? stepped into that room, I ran smack into an adventure you don't forget in a long time. Because the screen has never shown this kind of woman before. The kind that reaches out in the loneliness of the night to a stranger passing by. I should have seen the warning of danger in her eyes. But what happened in that suspense-filled night was about to change my entire life. Why didn't you tell me you were working here? I'm not. I'm just doing it for tonight. Yeah, I know. You're an heiress. Tomorrow morning, you ride through your estate. Side saddle. She made you say that. I believe in a drink, a kiss, and a laugh now and then. I still like to laugh. But not at myself. What do you want? Hearts and flowers forever and ever? Love? Don't be afraid to say it. It's not a dirty word. I can't figure you out. You, you, you're silk on one side and sandpaper on the other. I'll be any way you want me to be. Why? Why is it so important? Because I belong with you. <coughs> Pat, it's 8.09. I'm frightened. I think something's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey business, all right. And believe me, Carrie never had so much fun in his life. Want to know why? Well, just look at what goes into this monkey business. There's a generous helping of ginger. Ginger Rogers, that is. A dash of Charles Coburn for a chaser. Plenty of Marilyn Monroe for spice. And someone to see that things shape up properly. Uh, scientifically, of course. I've done a lot of experimenting with this kind of thing. Come in now. You're not too busy. 
Miss Laura was just showing me her acetates. <laughs> began when Rudolph, the chimp, discovered the formula for eternal youth that makes people grow younger and younger and younger. Edwina, what I have to tell you is unbelievable. Oh? Oh, well, I'll start at the beginning. Edwina, at 11.52 this morning, I took a dose of the formula. And in a few minutes, I began to behave exactly like a college boy. <laughs> Yours? Yay. Take a while to warm up. Yes, me too. By the way, whose lipstick is it? Uh, what's her name? You, you know, Oxley's secretary. Oh, you mean that little pin-up girl, huh? Very cute. Sort of, but half infant. Not the half that's visible. Hi, Dr. Fulton. Hi. What'd you say to her? Mrs. Fulton, he said hi. I heard what he said, you peroxide kissing bug. Edwina, she didn't do anything. I'll pull that blonde oh. hair off by its black root. Edwina, please. Edwina, come stop on, it. Come on, Miss Laura, you keep out of the way. Up. 